Hello YouTubers. I decided I would share with you some of the tube amplifiers I have created over the years. And we're going to start right off with this one that looks like it's sitting in a uh, case, uh, like a uh, suitcase. And uh, it's actually what this is. It's the old record player case called the Sonic Capri 333. And uh, what I've built is, I believe the circuit was a f called Firefly. It uses a 12AX7 and a 12AU7. Um, and just pretty simple gain and master. I think this side was a bright switch I put in there. I don't remember for sure. Built-in speaker and then an external speaker. Plays pretty good. And later on I'll do a demo of it. Nice little practice amp. So then we go on right, right here. To this one. Alright, so this is an old RC Victor radio that I gutted just to use the case and uh, put a 5F1 uh, champ circuit in it. Has a, a six inch speaker in it. Pretty straightforward on off volume and a little boost switch in here. And that's pretty much it. I initially started to make it a Princeton type with a uh, with a tone control, which I was going to put right here, but uh, it just didn't work real well. It didn't sound real good, so I just made it a champ. So there's that guy. And it's plugged into, it has actually an external speaker jack here I can go to, and it's plugged into a, a, a 210 cabinet I made that has a Jensen um, Classic Alnico speakers in it. Sounds real nice. And we come okay. over here to this guy. This is my 5F2, basically a Princeton copy circuit. That I built a few years ago, and it has again the uh, on off switch volume and a tone knob, and it has that same boost. It's basically a cap across the uh, the uh, cathode of the first input to preamp. Then it has a pr uh, bright switch from a twin reverb circuit. So that's that guy. It is a Cool little like five watt, eight watt actually probably um, amplifier I made. It has a gain master tone also, and it uses actually six AQ5 tubes, kind of Gibson-ish um, style, but yet kind of like a Princeton. Uses two eight inch. Um, believe they're um, ceramic Jensen's. Very nice little lamp. Then we come over here to this one. This is a Fender Deluxe style type amp with an added um, mid adjust in there. And it's got your classic volume on off, master, treble, mid, and bass. Um, use 2.6 V6 in the uh, power section and then a couple 12 AX7s in the preamp section. It goes into this cabinet, uh, 12 inch Jensen, I think, uh, Alnico 7 or Alnico some sort, uh, Jensen speaker. Nice sounding, very, very loud for like a 15 watt. Sitting on top of a spring reverb box I made. It's a solid state spring reverb. The spring is real, but it's not solid state. But the driver section is uses op amps. That's what that guy is. And let's come on over to here, this guy. So at first look, you might say, oh, 
that's a Vox AC something. Well, it actually was at one time a Vox AC30, but I gutted it, pulled all the parts out, including the case, made a new case, and created a whole new circuit from a Princeton Reverb uh, schematic. So it's got the volume, treble, mid, bass, master volume I added, and a reverb section, which the reverb the spring was pretty loud and noisy. I took it out and I'm experimenting with a digital reverb in there right now. And we'll give you an opportunity to hear that one in a little bit. So there you have it for now. At least the ones I have available I could show you. Let me uh, sit up and do some demo playing for you so you can uh, get a feel for what these sound like. Okay, here we are. This is just on the uh, microphone of the phone, so don't expect super high quality audio, but you'll get an idea. There we go. Pretty much distortion all the time. Alright, on to the next one. Okay, Let's see if we can set this up. sweet tone to it. Volume at about three. Could get loud. Keep in mind, that's only like...
like a volume two. All right, so now we have this guy right here. <laughs> just on the uh, microphone of the phone so don't expect super high quality audio but you'll get an idea there we go distortion all the time. Could get loud. Yeah. 
do.